Hello and welcome to another short instructional video from Mr. Sam's Trains and this one's on how to clean locomotive wheels. So here I've already loaded a, a 460 B12 locomotive uh, into my little uh, support which I've just noticed a hair on it so I will get that off just because I'm OCD like that. Not really. Um, and yes, so all you're going to need again is similar to last time, you'll need some cotton buds which are lovely, as you can see, I'm nearly out of them, that's not good. You'll also need a 9 volt battery, now you want to be careful with these because you don't want to scratch the wheels of the locos, but with careful use this can be very handy. Uh, this is only really with DC locos, but um, DCC obviously you can use a rolling road or any other stuff. Um, you'll also need some nail polish remover, um, but obviously not in a big bottle, so I've siphoned it into a smaller bottle. Um, but it's all the same stuff, um, it doesn't matter if it has acetine in it or not. Um, this is optional, WD-40, you want to be careful with this as well because uh, it can make a mess of your loco if you use it improperly. Uh, and I'll show you how to use this, but this is normally for the dire cases of dirty wheels. And you're not going to want it in sort of this form, you're going to want to siphon it into a smaller container, um, such as this one. So all I do is I just get it in there, spray a bit in, and that's it. Then we can discard this big bottle and we don't have to use it because it's much easier to apply in this case. But obviously you don't need to use this if you've got filthy wheels. Uh, here's a, a Gauge Master uh, track rubber which has nice sharp corners which you can use on the wheels. I don't like using this because it leaves a bit of a, a nasty residue uh, on the wheels which isn't ideal I know uh, but you can use that if you'd like. Uh, but you know, I don't think you have to. Anyway, what I tend to do is I remove all the, the crap first, so if there's any dust, I get that off just because it's, it's a pain. Uh, so any bits of hair or anything like that, just get it off. But it, it's not a big deal. And then basically you're just going to take your top off this uh, nail polish remover. Uh, get the WD-40 out of the way because it won't be good if that spills. And take a little bit in here and then apply it to the face of the wheel showing. Now what you can do is you can hold the 9 volt battery on here, let the local wheel spin and then just hold a piece on and scrub it as it goes around. Now that's true, you can do that, but again, you do run the risk of scratching wheels. So what I do is I clean the wheels that are showing at that given moment, just rub it forwards and backwards by holding the one opposite, because you don't want to just do it like this because it will, you know, um, you don't want to put any unnecessary strain on the linkage and you should see, you should start to see some carbon deposits coming off onto the cotton bud. Uh, so yes, clean all those and then when they're all clean you then just rotate the wheels very slightly. There we go, that's a bit too much but uh, you'll get the hang of that. Um, and then just do them again and you keep doing this until you get all the way round and you don't need to dry them because this is very quick to evaporate and it's also very flammable so you don't want to keep this near the track um, but it's very quick to evaporate so there's no problems there now with the bogey wheels should you have them which I believe pretty much all the locomotives do especially steam ones you can just turn it round and put the cotton bud under it because uh, obviously there's no linkage to protect and you won't be using a battery which will scratch off the the uh, surface, I want to say. So you do that to all of them, that gets them nice and clean. Now what you can do if you have particularly filthy wheels, um, which I don't recommend uh, if you just have regular wheels which aren't particularly dirty, but what you need to do is take a fresh cotton bud uh, and the WD-40 pot and dip this into the WD-40, let it soak in. I'm not actually going to do it because obviously these wheels aren't too bad. And do the exact same thing, coat the wheel in WD-40. And those of you who know what you're doing already, you're going to be saying, what? You can't do that? Well, wait and see. So when that's coated, and you've had a good rub at it, you should see a lot more of that rubbish coming off because it gets stuff off a lot easier because it dissolves the dirt. Uh, now, what you've effectively got is a sticky mess. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of this cotton bud for a start, just chuck it away, get a dry one, like this, and then clean off all the WD-40. Um, 
and find the battery if I remember where I put it. Uh, you can turn the wheel and, and get rid of it. There it is. Uh, you can turn the wheel and get it off uh, all the other parts of the wheel. And then, because we don't need the WD-40 on there for lubrication purposes, we can just get a little bit more nail polish remover and remove that last bit of it. Because all we were using the WD-40 for was to remove the dirt. Now the dirt's gone, we don't need the WD-40 on there anymore. And it's important that you do get it all off, because having stuff like that on it will drastically reduce traction. Uh, and it also could damage the coating of the wheels and most importantly you will lose a lot of traction which is probably what I said first isn't it I can't remember <laughs> but yes that cleans the wheels nicely obviously a clean track can mean that you don't need to do this as often as some but um, yes that's a fairly fail safe way of doing it and then she's clean and nail polish remover is a bit of a sod if you get it on the paintwork which is why I recommend that you do buy a cradle like this to hold it in just to minimise uh, the amount that you're touching the bodywork but if you're really struggling um, you can just take the body off which I wouldn't recommend because you might disturb uh, some of the parts but you know if you're really worried about it there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that well guys thank you very much for watching I, I'm sure it was very enjoyable it wasn't the most interesting video but certainly I hope it was helpful I know there's a lot of other videos on this subject uh, already on the web uh, but I thought I'd make mine just so you can see my technique and hopefully it'll be shorter than others as well. Well, thanks for watching. This is Mr. Sam's Trains and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.